I stand amazed in your presence, O oh God. Yay! I stand amazed in your presence. Mm. Like you. Morning, Holy Spirit. No one like you, Holy Ghost. No one like you, Holy Spirit. You are awesome in this place. In all the earth, you are awesome. No one like you. Oh, welcome, Holy Spirit. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Take full control. Hey, great are you, Lord. Mm. You do glorious things. You're a faithful God. Awesome in your name. My God, you do mighty things. My God, you do glorious things. Faithful God, awesome is your name. You do mighty things. You do glorious things. You're a faithful God, awesome is your name. Good morning, good morning, family. Good morning. It's a beautiful day. On behalf of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, and on behalf of the weird family, Marsha Weird, Rowan Weird, Darian Weird, Athena Clark, glory to God. Hallelujah. It's a wonderful day that the Lord has made. What an awesome day. I greet each and every one of you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 Blessed be the name of the Lord. The Lord is speaking to some people this morning. Come on, we got to get sensitive. We got to get sensitive. Hallelujah. Sensitive in the spirit. Sensitive to the voice of the Lord. What is the Lord saying to you this morning? Is the Lord saying one word? Can you tell me one word that the Lord is saying to you this morning? As you search your spirit for a connection to the Holy Spirit of God. As you search your spirit for a word, for a word of encouragement, for, for, for just a word. Hallelujah. 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 As I search my spirit, as I say it, I just hear peace, 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 peace. My peace I give to you, not as men give. Hallelujah, do I give, but I give my peace. My peace that passeth all understanding, says the Lord. I encourage your spirit. I encourage your soul. I encourage your mind. I encourage your situations. Yes, that's it, Sister uh, Finley. Yes, that's it, Faith. That's what I, that's what you hear. Hallelujah. Debbie here. Hallelujah. Praise God. The Holy Spirit is praising, is worshiping. Hallelujah. Come on, we got to learn how to be sharp in the spirit, even when we're distracted by just being, just waking up, even when we're distracted by trying to get our instrument connected to the, to the, to the devotion, we still should be sensitive, listening to what the Lord is saying. Hallelujah. Even when we're saying good morning, food watchers like Judith, we still should be hearing Judith. What is the Lord saying? Is there a word that God has said? Endure. Come on, Pastor Wright. That's it. Hallelujah. Endure. God is saying endure for sure. Because when you endure, there is more. For out of my heaven I will pour. Oh, and I will cause you to have wings like an eagle and soar. Glory to God. Woo! What an encouragement. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Come on, Jackie Wong. What is a word God is saying to you this morning? We're starting different this morning. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What is the Lord saying? One word that God is saying that can encourage our spirit. Mm, glory to God. Someone said faith. And God says, if you have faith, you will wait. Ah, though the river is in spate, just wait. Because I will tell you when to go. You will cross over into the promised land. Glory to God. Ah, Sister, Sister Debbie says, hallelujah. Glory. Highest praise. Highest praise. All your days, give me highest praise, says the Lord. One says, glory ah god says when you give me glory my glory will come and change your story ah jacqueline says mercy 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 is always available for you my mercy is sufficient my mercy is good my mercy will keep you in the times of trouble in the name of jesus christ hallelujah what an awesome god hey judith says i hear be still be still and let me feel your 
spirit, your soul, your body with all of me, says God. For I will fill you with my love if you are still. And if you are still, that means you trust me. And if you trust me, you love me. And if you love me, I will fill you with all that you need for life and godliness. John Chana says, it is our season. Yes, it is our season, Fort Watchers. It is our season that we must reason with the Holy Spirit. And as we reason with the Holy Spirit, he will change our season. Yes, be patient. Hallelujah. Wait upon the Lord and be of good courage. Wait, I say, on the Lord. For when we wait upon the Lord, we will accomplish great things by his name and for his glory. In the name of Jesus Christ. Donna Hewitt says, power yes the month of october is power and every day every day at two o'clock we receive a shower a shower blessing come on if you're in jamaica you will notice well i don't know if it happens right across jamaica but where i live every day at between 1 30 and 2 we get a shower of rain but god shifted this morning because he knew this morning was a prophetic morning and so this morning from about 4 30 it's been raining where i am and so the power of god is raining down on each and every one of us Donna Sinclair says thankful yes we are full of thanks because God has given us much to be thankful for in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah we give God glory and praise and honor hallelujah hallelujah what an awesome way to start the day God is just pouring into us in a great way hallelujah he's pouring out mercy he's pouring out the gift of faith he's pouring out his grace that is sufficient he's pouring out everything that we need for life and godliness oh hallelujah sister natalie says rest hallelujah those who can rest in me are the best in me says god glory thank you for that one sister natalie those who can rest in me are the best in me the devil can't test when you're in me hallelujah what a good god hallelujah ah josephine says peace hallelujah peace hallelujah because you are not the least come on glory to god you are my king and my priest oh hallelujah what a good god change hey god says my hey sister melody's prophesying man sister melody say god says i am bringing change your life i will rearrange your community your family i will rearrange i am bringing change is it not call it not strange that in this month of october when it is the month of power my power will bring change my power will rearrange come on i'm prophesying by the spirit of the living god we're prophesying together this morning in the name of jesus so come on expectant expectant Expectant. This is not just an exercise. Come on, it's exercising, but it is not just an exercise. We're practicing to just be so confident in who we are in God that what we say, we believe it's coming from our spirit and our spirit cannot lie. And what our spirit decrees, what shall happen to it? It shall be established. Come on, glory to God. Come on, guys. We do nothing out of flesh or self everything that we do we practice to work out of spirit because we're led by the spirit of god yes jessica love love is the most powerful thing our faith work it by love our change comes by love our peace is rooted in love our grace is from love come on glory to god so love is the principal thing even as wisdom is necessary for our mind love is necessary for our heart glory to god hallelujah what a mighty god we serve what a mighty god we serve angels bow before him father we thank you this morning for the grace of your spirit in us. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy that continually allow us when we disobey and go in a different way. Oh, God Almighty, sometimes we just go and play and we are not listening and obeying your Holy Spirit. But we thank you that your mercy still abounds unto us and you keep us in perfect peace with our minds stayed on you. This morning, we come to you in faith, believing that you are our God, believing that you never leave us or forsake us, believe that you are our present help in times of trouble believing that you are our healer and our deliverer believing that if we trust in you we will never be put to shame in the name of jesus christ of nazareth so thank you for the ability to trust you god thank you that you are trustworthy in the name of jesus christ and therefore our trust can never fail in the name of jesus christ lord we place before you this morning every instrument and implement 
hallelujah from which we broadcast in the name of jesus christ we thank you lord that you cover every element and aspect of what we do in the morning you cover the altars that we are around oh god wherever we are some persons might be at the gym some persons might be driving to work some might be at work some might be at home depending on the time zone some might be getting ready for bed like those in australia oh god almighty but we thank you this morning that wherever your people are your people are covered under your wings your people are blessed and highly favored your people are walking in the fullness of your love and your grace and your mercy we lord god almighty by your decree we cut off cramp and paralyze every assignment of the enemy against the fourth watch family members we declare this morning oh great and sovereign god that no weapon formed against us last night while we slept will prosper we cut off every portal that the enemy has opened into our lives while we slept oh god any touch from any incubus or succubus spirit any touch from any witch or warlock any demon that was passing through and stopped in our house oh god almighty and walked through and left their footprint this morning we use spiritual vacuum and vacuum out every footprint we vacuum out every smell we vacuum out every taste we vacuum out every food and drink every everything that the enemy may have left in our house and in our space while we were in an unconscious state we cancel it fire on it in the name of jesus christ of nazareth and we declare that our space is only for the holy spirit and the holy angels of the most high god it does not have any place or space to accommodate any demonic force or any demonic assignment or any demonic works in the name of jesus our space is is clean sanctified holy ghost filled water baptized with jesus on our minds in the mighty name of jesus christ so lord we thank you hallelujah that you are the one that is good for us you are the one that is god to us you are the one that is filling us up with all that we need for life and godliness and so we thank you this morning as a family we thank you this morning oh god for your prophetic encouragement your word that builds up our soul that builds up our spirit that causes us to erupt like a volcano in praise and say glory be to the name of the lord jesus christ lord we put our our, our list before you even as we worship and adore you we put our list of persons oh god almighty remember that nurse oh god almighty who is in the hospital hallelujah with covid and she's pregnant we put her before you and we say lord have mercy remember all those persons who will lift up before you yesterday oh god almighty we ask that you will remember them because you are omniscient omnipotent and omnipresent and so god you know them you know their names you know where they are god you know how to find them and you know what is happening to them oh god almighty those that were we're struggling god we're having emotional issues unable to, to to find that gusto to to pray and to read the word and to just they feel like spiritually they are at a lull that they're not connected to you in the same way that they normally are father we pray that you will visit them in this season and cause a stimulation a stimulate their 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 their, their, in, their their excitement in you again in the name of jesus christ of nazareth glorify yourself O great and sovereign god and let your will be done in and through their lives father we lift up our sister vanessa before you this morning vanessa sergeant hallelujah lord god almighty you see and know that the enemy desires to sift her like wheat because he knows that she is the one that stands as the rock in the corner cornerstone of her household of her family oh great and sovereign god she is the intercessor she is the watchman on the wall she is the one that carries the weight of the family and so the enemy wants to discourage her but this morning sister vanessa sergeant i speak to your spirit i speak to your soul i speak to your body and i say in the mighty name in the matchless name in the Stay by the efficacious blood of the Holy One of Israel. I wash away by the Spirit of the Living God every plan, scheme, and trap of the enemy against you and against the sergeant household. I cleanse your husband. I cleanse your son. I cleanse every aunt, uncle, cousin, niece, and nephew. Know that the enemy has come after you. I declare that not only will you and your house be cleansed and sanctified, but every member of your family in the name of jesus christ of nazareth we Hallelujah. cleanse and can paralyze 
every assignment of the enemy now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So go forth in the peace of God. Go forth. Hallelujah. In the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We speak a peace that passeth all understanding in your life this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Go forth now. Go forth now. And have a hey, Jesus. Glory to God. Mm. Something is coming. Something is coming. Something is coming. Sister Vanessa, Vanessa I just mentioned husband. Mm. Glory to God. Something is coming. Hallelujah. We prophesy in this month of October before this year is out. October, November, December. Hallelujah. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Body, soul, and spirit. It is not good for man to be alone. And so as I mentioned husband concerning you, I declare husband shall be resurrected. Husband shall be pulled out of the grave we said we roll away the stone by power roll away the stone by fire roll away the stone so you can come up higher and so husband come forth in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth husband come forth now in the name of jesus the woman of god is waiting don't keep her waiting too long come forth in the name of jesus christ of nazareth and we thank you lord that it is so undone anyone in this um, family that needs a husband and don't have one or a wife and don't have one we call them forth from behind the veil from behind the stone out of the cave that the, the enemy has been hiding them in we call them forth this morning and we say come forth and be married come forth and live happy come forth and be one with another in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord. Thank you, Lord God Almighty, that right now your angels are in mm. Sister Sergeant's house, standing with her and pouring oil, fresh Thank oil you, upon her head. And though Satan is at her right and waiting, O oh God Almighty, to buffet her, we thank you, Lord, that he cannot get past her, 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 her security system. He cannot get past her righteous white robe that you are placing on her even now. He cannot penetrate the mitre that you have placed on her head like a helmet. Of salvation and I thank you that even now sister sergeant is beginning to feel a rush of energy a fresh rush of your spirit taking full control of all that concern her and I speak to that spirit of depression and oppression that wants to come upon the woman of God and any other member of this family I serve you notice right now spirit of oppression depression and fear I call you by name and I command you right now loose God's people loose the sergeant household loose the God's people right now loose this fourth watch family in the name of Jesus I don't care what it is that is happening or that is causing a, a spirit of lull a spirit of woe uh, not as bubbly and bright and hype and up i command that foul unclean spirit you will not take up residence in the fourth watch family homes or family in the name of jesus christ so uproot and go now i serve your notice go 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 now in the name of jesus christ of nazareth and we thank you lord that it is well with our souls for you have made it so in the name of jesus christ vernessa i know for a fact that you're starting to feel better already things already better things already better for the lord is on my side things already better things already better things already better hallelujah, hallelujah. bless the name of jesus hallelujah glory to god what a good god what a good god okay so god is faithful god is kind hallelujah good morning to each and every one of you who have just come on personal good morning you missed a time a prophetic time if you're coming on just now hallelujah husband kevin grant come forth yes that's it marcia that's the kind of prophetic confidence i want to see from this family hallelujah that's it that's it call forth man call forth hallelujah even if god delays in answering your calling forth it means that you're still at the same place that you were yesterday you're not any worse off but if you call forth and he comes then you're better off and you're never gonna see him come forth unless you stand in faith you got to call forth abraham would not have recovered lot and all of his possessions if he didn't go forth 
David would not have recovered from the Amalekites everything that they stole from Ziklag if he stayed in that spot and continued to cry and say, Oh God, oh God, oh, you, oh they took away all my family, they took away my two wives and all my and my children, they took everything, they took our livestock. Oh no, nothing will be returned unless you pursue, overtake, and recover all. Come on, somebody, get excited. We got to speak into our situations and we got to do some physical things after God has given us permission we got to go David had to get on his horse gather his men and go regardless of what was happening he had to go in order to recover all and so sometimes God wants us to move assiduously in a particular direction to accomplish what needs to be accomplished in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yesterday, I had a situation where I went to a particular um, a meeting and something was supposed to happen. And, you know, because the enemy is always trying to delay, derail or deny. When I was speaking to the lady, the lady said I had I had a plan and things were, 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 were promised and, um, and to be acquired. And all of a sudden, it just slowed down not happening again the person back out and said they can't give credit and so we're at a stalemate we can't move forward because the resources are not there to actually do it um except for credit and so because we can't get the credit to to um to get it and we don't have the the finances um she's apologizing to me and saying you know the thing has been um stalled for a little bit and i said all right we believe in god we're gonna go and just call upon some people and some friends and try to get our own credit and try to get the thing installed so that the, the, the project can keep moving and so we just boom 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 make some call do some stuff and we know god is gonna send the resources to take care of it and so we're believing god that it is well but you got to move you got to believe god you got to know that if god says you're to do this the enemy is gonna try to make you not do it come on somebody i hope you're hearing me this morning if God says, go tell some people that I am God, go tell them that I am love and I'm power and I am self-control and I am awesome and I am mighty and I love them and I want them to come and save, be saved and be with me in paradise. That's the same day your children are going to get sick. Your husband going to start kick up stink. Your family members, your mother, if you live with your mother, is going to start cussing you for no reason. Come on, your children are going to start saying, Mommy, we want you to stay. Don't go. Daddy, I, I, I need for you to take me somewhere. Your wife is going to say, um, you know, I made arrangements for us to go somewhere. That's the time when these things are going to happen. But you got to be steadfast. You got to be focused. You got to be, hey, set your face like flint. And go do what you and God agree to do in the name of Jesus because if you get distracted hallelujah you will lose the opportunity and the open door and so what you have purposed in your heart to do you know sometimes I, I, I just want to encourage you this morning sometimes um, you know I, I what, what Pastor Masha and I do man we, we, we sometimes get drained physically we're never drained spiritually because it's not our spirit and it's not our power it is the, the power of the Holy Spirit and he cannot get drained he's inexhaustible hallelujah but we in our physical mortal body flesh gets tired and sometimes pastor Marsha, especially now that i'm doing this little um class and it, it, it's 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 a lot of work um she will say you know we had two deliverance schedule for these two days but and the way you look tired um I, I i i would love to 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 um to cancel them and put them to another time and i'm saying babes we have already committed to the people we have spoken to them and we have said we are gonna meet you at the place of your need on thursday and on friday and we are gonna bring god's hand of help to you call them back now and tell them god's hand of help cannot come because my mortal frail body cannot bring forth god's hand god's hand is ready ready to go and so i have to believe god that i will not die but live to declare the works of the lord i have to believe god that he will energize me and empower me to do what needs to be done and i can sleep afterwards come on somebody you got to hear me when you set your mind to do something for god it is in the word he says whatsoever you position in your heart to give give that don't change it don't sit don't don't make any excuses don't be in other words like ananias and sapphira don't set your heart that you're going to give to this cause 
and then find excuses because something else came up once you say lord i am going to give to this project that pastor Wade and marsha Wade is working on you better make sure that what it is that you set in your heart to give you give it because that's where your blessing is gonna come don't set your heart to give if you don't have it and you're not confident that god by faith will give you as a sower the seed to sow don't say anything just continue to enjoy life man because god gives seed to the sower if you don't have seed you cannot plant i believe that wholeheartedly do not borrow to sow please we got to move to the next level of maturity i don't care which prophet he could be the most accurate prophet in the world if he tells you you need to borrow to sow it is not according to word do not borrow to sow god gives seed to the farmer that's the reality and so sometimes and i, I i've been in situations where you know you hear come on if you don't have it beg borrow just don't steal no that's not, not something is very wrong with that because that's not scripture god didn't ask the children of israel to bring out of what he didn't give them he said bring out of your overflow bring out of what i have given you given you bring your tithes and your offerings into my house that there might be meat in my house and then he said see if i will not open the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing upon you that you will not have room enough to receive which means seed and blessing are not necessarily the same thing because if you already have overflow in the area of finance for example when god is blessing you that blessing won't necessarily be in finance it will be other things that you don't have like anointing come on like like ministry like 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 more opportunities to be a blessing to more people because that increases blessing it might be that your children and your children's children walk in the favor that you have, 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 have garnered through your kindness come on god the, the bible says blessed is the man that leaves an inheritance for his children and his children's children and so if your inheritance is your kindness like sister Inet. sister Inet has some amazing children one of her uh, what her daughter is a mighty prayer warrior i met her long before i even knew sister Inet. and when the connection was made because sister Inet comes to, 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 to the church i go to but um her daughter doesn't and i met her through a, a a bible study program that we used to do and um and, and and when the connection was made i was like wow look at the seed that sister Inet has produced this woman of god when she prays she sees in the spirit with hd that means high definition come on when she wars oh my goodness when she intercedes it's like heaven open the only other person i see intercede and carry on like that is pastor marsha and i'm telling you man this is the blessing that has come to sister Inet's lines come on it's not by accident it's how she prays and what she did and how many people she blessed and god says i will cause your generation that comes after you and even more generations to come to walk in the fruit of your seed in the name of jesus christ so i'm saying to you guys make it a habit to do good make it a habit to plant seed in the lives of people in ministries that you can trust that love jesus come on hallelujah don't throw your pearl before swine and think that god has an obligation to, to to honor it he already spoke about it and so if you're if you're a part of a ministry or you see ministries that are always just into prosperity gospel and into to, to money and into to, to um to faith blessing and preaching a gospel that is not according to the word of god and you say oh that's so exciting i like that ministry that pastor looks so cute and he's so uh, effervescent and he's so eloquent i'm gonna sow a seed in there you might be casting your pearl before swine so listen to the holy spirit listen to the holy spirit and let him guide how you go forth and what you do because the blessing that god promises you promises you as a result of you honoring what he says not what man says come on hallelujah glory to god and so for for us 
we like when someone calls us and says you know pastor we realize that you're full-time ministers and, and and the lord told me the lord impressed upon my heart to sow a seed or to bless you i said yes god thank you so much you know why because now nobody can say pastor wade's ministry liberty for living has um, asked for things and said that they're going to be blessed and we don't see the blessing yet if god spoke to you then god will bless you on your own we pray and come in agreement with god's blessing for you and we say god do it in double portion god do it in exponential proportion but god is the one that had made that covenant with you for your blessing in the first place and all we do is come in agreement we're not asking god to come in agreement with what we have asked you for we're asking God to let us come in agreement with him for what he has told you to do. Come on, glory to God. Hallelujah. And so even when you go to your own church, yes, your, 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 your regular tithe and offering is due. But if there is an occasion where there is a seed that is necessary, even though it is your church, guys, I'm teaching you something here this morning. Even though it is your church, your free will seed, your free will seed, that you're sowing must produce a harvest and that harvest must come to you not to the church the church is getting the harvest of your seed and your seed must produce a spiritual or natural harvest for you so you must give an assignment to your seed who plants a seed and go away not expecting it to grow come on we've been real here this morning who plants a seed and does not expect it to grow? So you must give your seed an assignment. You must say, Lord, I'm planting the seed in this Liberty for Living Ministries, in this um, Church of God Ministries, in this Adventist Ministry. I'm planting the seed in this Televangelist Ministry. And I'm declaring that my husband will come forth in this year as a result of this ministry. I'm declaring that my financial woes will go will, will be will be a thing of the past from this from, from this seed. I'm declaring that my, my, my ministry will start and flourish as a result of this seed in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So you give your seed an assignment. And so if you are confident. If you are confident, solidly confident, that this is a transparent ministry, because some of us, guys, can, can we be honest this morning? Some of us, we should be honest all the time, not you. <laughs> yes, we're honest all the time. It's just our figure of speech. Um, some, some of us are in some ministries, and I'm not knocking anybody's ministry, but we, 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 we constantly say, Lord, him preach good, but me not trust or him deal with finance. Him preach good and him anointed and him pray and things happen, but I don't trust him deal with finance. It don't look like him a deal with him wife right. I hear him some stuff that not so the fruit not so not so good. Um, yeah, I love my church because I love the people around me. I love all my, my, my church brothers and sisters relate to me. Come on, I'm teaching you something. And so in an environment like that where you're getting word, you're being taught right and you're growing up right. You're doing what is right. But, but 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 there's something shady there's something misgiving there's something that is not so 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 so, so fruit bearing about the, the the leader or about the minute certain element of the ministry your seed is what you need not to be careful and ask god if you must plant your seed in that you will get the benefit from your tithe and offering with that because you are sowing according to god's command you're putting your tithe and offering into the ministry on God's command. That's fine. God will bless you even if the minister is stealing it or I'm not doing what he's supposed to do with it. He's not helping the widows and the orphans. He's not feeding the poor. If he's taking all of it and buying big car and big house, God will still bless you. But your seed, come on, I hope somebody learning something this morning. But your seed, that extra, that, that, that sacrifice that you want to make, that's where you need now need to be careful if you are concerned about the fruit if you are concerned about the youth if you are concerned about him boot where it is going what it is stepping in do not put your seed unless god tell you specifically because you would have planted in unfertile ground you would have cast your pearl before swine hallelujah you know vex <laughs> bless god hallelujah Pastor Masha and I can give you many stories how he Pastor Masha of places where God never tell us to sow. And we sowed. I remember I was going through, guys, 
um god god had stripped me down i had come down to almost nothing i used to have u.s credit cards local credit card all kinds of things man and i remember i was down to my face i was not working hallelujah and i was just god had stripped me because he was planning to raise me up again and so he stripped everything and and, and i was moving from um from kingston to another parish um because my my uh, uh, there was a, a, a job opportunity and, um, and, and and I had to I said I want to sow a seed I want to sow a seed to, to, to break out of this thing that I was in firstly I thought that it was Satan that was attacking me take away my job take away my money everything and um, I didn't know that it was God I was young and inexperienced and so I had one 500 US dollars left on a, a US credit card $500 hallelujah and, and, and there was a televangelist ministry that was on at the time that I used to watch regularly and say, Whoa, oh God, I, 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 I want to watch this ministry and want to sow into this ministry. And I took the credit card and, 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 and sowed the last $500 on the credit card into that ministry. And shortly after that, I heard some things about that ministry. It went crashing down and confession and uh, um, all kinds of things. And to this day, God has restored me in another way but i know that that money went up in smoke because i didn't ask god i didn't go praying and saying lord should i sow this 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 sacrificial seed in this ministry because he would say first of all no sacrificial seed is going to get you out of this i am the one doing it so don't even bother come on glory to god he would have said that to me he would have said relax yourself just go through my job go through in this season you don't need to put no sacrificial seed because it ain't going to produce anything. Because you're saying that your sacrificial seed will cause me to change my mind. God can't be bought. God cannot be bought. And so guys, I'm teaching you, your seed, your seed, your seed. Be careful where you place your seed. Last thing on the seed thing. Hallelujah. What am I doing for time? All right. Almost there. The last thing on the seed thing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Do not hear me. And this is just counsel. You don't have to take it. I, 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 you are free. Please be, under, be understand. You are free. I am not your father and I am certainly not God. Certainly not God. Only God's words are final yea and amen. But I am saying to you, be careful when you give your seed to someone who does not bless it or bless you. Someone just takes your seed. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. They don't pray for you. They don't speak a blessing over you. They don't declare a, 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 a confirmation of the assignment you have given your seed. Come on. Hallelujah. We don't receive seed from anyone and don't spend quality, sincere time lifting it up. As a matter of fact, sometimes I'll go on the road and somebody just see me and say, Oh, man of God, I bless you. And when I come home, the first thing Pastor Marsha asks me is what? What? Tell them, Pastor Marsha. You bless you. <laughs> Pastor Marsha, quickly, I shout me and say, But you know what? Sometimes I go into a full prayer meeting to bless a seed. Hallelujah. Even after I have worked. So sometimes we'll do deliverance. And if a person have it, and they say, I'd like to sow a seed in the ministry, we'll start like the prayer meeting, the, the deliverance session start all over again. In prayer. People must be grateful. You don't owe anybody anything but to love. That's what the word of God says. That's what you owe, man. Love. It is out of that love that you give out of your possessions. But you don't owe anybody anything. That means when someone gives to us out of love, it is our love that we give back prayer. It is our love that we give back blessing. It is our love that we speak into your generation, into your children and your children's children so that they might benefit from the seed producing. Amen. So if you have been given a given seed, not your tithe and offering, don't mix them up. That's your obligation. That's your obligation because God has blessed you, put you in a position to be able to give a tenth. You give that and yes, he will bless you for your obedience. But you, 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 I, I don't know that you should give your tithe and offering an assignment because that's your obligation. God gives that an assignment unto you on his own, whatever he chooses. But your seed, lastly now, your seed is special. 
That's your sacrificial thing. That's you coming to God and say, God, I'm sowing this because I desire a harvest, whatever that harvest is. And so if the person you're giving that seed to does not come in agreement with your harvest desire and bless it so that the soil that will, will be fertile to produce for his glory, then mm, that's the wrong story. Amen. So if you have done that in the past, you need to repent and ask God forgiveness. Lord, I have sown in soils that you didn't tell me to sow in. I am sorry. I repent. And I ask even now, if it is if it is your will, Lord, please. I, I, I didn't realize I made a mistake. But still make it produce a harvest so that I can have seed again to sow where you tell me. So you have to repent and then ask out of his mercy. Because God can cause seed to raise up in thorns and thistles. Yes. God can cause seed to raise up on concrete. God can cause seed to grow out of cinder block. Come on. Mm -hmm. He can do it. So if you plant it on stone and it was not to grow in the first place, but you repent and say, Lord, I should not have planted on stone. I'm sorry. God will say, all right, for your faithful heart, for your sincere heart, I will cause this one to grow on the stone. And when it comes and the fruit, you, you pick the fruit, just go plant in soil that I send you. Amen. Yeah, what I'm Please. sensing, um, it has happened this morning, is that there's somebody on the live who is wondering what is happening to me. And what I'm sensing is that the reason why you're going through what you're going through is because of where you planted. It's like you are reaping the fruit from the, 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 the place where you planted. Mm, I am not sensing mm. that it is your personal church, but it's like you went and you, you sowed a seed, and then after that, it's like everything just become just uh, going a while. And you're wondering, God, what is happening? Me give, me so, me give my tithes, me give my offering, uh, me so, as you said, but, but things are just not going the way you desire for it to go. And, and 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 that is why God has turned pastor's mouth to this mm. to this place. Cause people people need to understand the value of seed. I remember a man giving a testimony, a prophet picking out a man and, and he said to the man, um, I saw where you you gave somebody it, it, it's in, it's in America, he gave somebody five dollars as a seed. And as he gave the man the money as the seed, what the man did with the seed of the five dollar turned on the person who gave it to him. That's why when God says, "Acknowledge me in all your ways," you know, mm. all your ways mean everything. And what happens to some of us as Christians, and it's a trick of the enemy, we go in an environment, and because the environment is so ripe, and everybody, and the prophet or whoever talk, and, and in the emotional um aspect of it we run go up and we just so we don't ask god anything we just run go up and i am guilty plus tax with, with that get emotional about it or you, you say to yourself if i don't what people around me going to to, to say you know mm. so you are you, you want to give because persons are looking or you are so caught up in the environment and god was not talking to you the prophet was not talking to you as a matter of fact, we just, we, as, just, as Pastor said, by God. We want by God. So we, because we want to by God, we'll just run into, um, anybody who come up this, uh, my husband is coming, and you run, but a car is, I see a car coming, and you run. And God say, I didn't send you anywhere. Mm. I didn't send you anywhere. Some persons end up being broke. I hear of a, 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 of a, of a woman who the pastor said to sow seed, um, and it is even our bill our bill money so the bill money and the lady end up after call but the pastor and say more about my money because you tell me say this is going to happen when i saw my bill so she have a light bill or whatever bill it was to pay the pastor tell her to sow the bill money and look what god would and nothing not happen and guess what happened she called about the pastor ten thousand dollar and the pastor had to give her back her ten thousand dollar so we have to be cognizant of what god is saying in every single situation we cannot afford for us to be tricked by the enemy 
um, with what God has trusted us with. Our finances is something that God has trusted us with, and we have to ensure that we are good stewards over that's it. That's it. That's it. So, um, just my addition. Amen. 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 That's it. That's it. Good stewards. So we acknowledge him in all our ways. Sister Debbie said guilty. <laughs> oh my goodness. So important, yeah man, to acknowledge God and know what he instructs us to do. And yeah, because amen. God has instructed you to Just do something so. one time, mm -hmm. doesn't mean that he's saying you can do this all the time. Because in this particular instance, he might say, okay, sow a seed here. And then in another instance, he'll say, sow it elsewhere. So we must always acknowledge him all the time. If there is consistency, let him determine that. If there is, um, a, if it's a one-off, let God determine that as well. Because we are under his lordship. Amen? Amen. Glory to God. Okay, so as we talk about under his lordship, I want you to turn with me to 1 Corinthians chapter 7. 1 Corinthians chapter 7. Turn with me, 1 Corinthians chapter 7, reading from verse 4. Reading from verse 4. 4 1 Corinthians chapter 7 verse 4 hallelujah touching on a very um, serious subject this morning Lord. amen that's it that's the key that's the key that's the key hallelujah as a matter of fact right now Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, as your people have repented, as your people have learned and are doing what needs to be done, hallelujah, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that you will draw and call back every dead seed, every seed that has been put behind a stone. Hallelujah. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that you will call it back, that you will call Hallelujah. forth the dead seed, O God Almighty, yes. to come forth with life. God, every seed of your people that Satan has locked up behind yes, concrete yes, stone, Lord. God Almighty, behind a cell, mm -hmm. iron bars, yes, we ask you in the name of Jesus Christ to yes. tear open the bars like you did for Paul and Silas. Yes, tear Lord. open the bars like you did for Peter. Peter, roll away the stone like you did for, for uh, Lazarus and even for yourself. Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. let life come forth in our seeds. Let yes, life Lord. come forth, God. I personally have sown, oh God Almighty, lots of seed when I was in the up and up. And God Almighty, mm -hmm. they have not produced as I was expecting. Yes, and so Lord. God Almighty, if my seed, if the seed of Pastor Marsha, if the seed of any member of this yes, family Lord. is still locked behind us, stone, oh, locked in a tomb, no. locked in a First grave, locked wrong. stolen in the second yeah, heaven, no, 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 locked in the, uh, in the, in the, in the yes, uh, marine kingdom, under the Jesus. water, Lord God Almighty, we ask you to send angels right. for our seed right now, send angels for our harvest right now, yes, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, and call them forth, God, we call forth yes, our seed God. as a harvest, in the name in of the name Jesus of Christ, Jesus. Lord God Almighty, yes, anywhere that we have cast pearls before swine yes, and the swine has caused the pearls to hide yes, under the mud and we can't find it our wealth is hidden under mud God Jesus. we ask you to give us discerning eyes yes, to God. discern where our pearls are that we can retrieve them yes, and God. clean them off yes, with your blood yes, clean them off with the water of your spirit clean yes, them off with the anointing of your oil in the yes, name God. of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and Lord God Almighty where we have sown uh, ignorantly we repent yes, and ask you for forgiveness oh God Almighty and we ask that the harvest will still come forth because you can cause oh God Almighty harvest to come forth from where there was no harvest intended or planned Lord you cause harvest to come out of Egypt when the children of Israel hallelujah had no expectation of any harvest and so God we you can produce a harvest from a repentant heart Hallelujah. or a heart that yes, you have sent to fetch and so God today as you have Mark, opened you? light as you have bring light to this family this morning oh God Almighty you have chosen the number of people to be here this morning to retrieve from yes, what God. the enemy has stolen what the canker worm the palmer worm the locust mm -hmm. and the caterpillar have eaten you have chosen this group this morning to retrieve for your glory and so Lord God 
God Almighty, like the like the the the, 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 the amount, the three hundred that yes, went God. with Gideon, like the four hundred that went with David. Ah, yes, God, God, after the Amalekites, Lord God Almighty, some yes. couldn't make it today, but today we say we will make it for them as well. Yes, In God. the name of Jesus, we call forth all of the blessings that have been held back because of the places where our seed have been sown in the name of Jesus Christ. And we thank you, Lord, that our seed will come forth with great harvest, great harvest, uncommon harvest. And we promise you, Lord, that like the man in the scripture, we will not say, what a harvest. I will tear down my barn. I will open new bank accounts just to have other accounts to hold the seed. But we will say, Lord, we have enough for ourselves. We will feed others with the seed of the extra in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And so I thank you, Lord, for the restoring of our seed. And I thank you for the heart to be a blessing to others from the excess in the name of Jesus Christ. Have your way, O oh God, mm -hmm. and we thank you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Yes, Hallelujah. Thank you, thank you, so just repeat after me, please. Lord I repent. Lord I repent. For every seed. For every seed that I have sown. That I have sown in unfertile ground. In unfertile ground. Lord I repent. Lord I repent. For every seed. For every seed that I have sown. That I have sown without asking you first. Without asking you first. Lord, I ask now. Lord, I ask now. Even as you have forgiven me. Even as you have forgiven me. To restore. To restore the joy the joy of my seed of my seed of my harvest of my harvest in jesus name in jesus name lord lord cause the new seeds cause the new seeds that i will sow that i will sow and that i have sown that i have sown to produce to produce as a makeup as a makeup for the seeds for the seeds that i sowed in ignorance that i sowed in ignorance or in disobedience or in disobedience lord Lord, cause the exceeding, cause the exceeding, abundant, abundant, above all, above all, I could ask, I could ask, think or imagine, think or imagine, to come forth, to come forth, out of the seed, out of the seeds, that is according to your will, that is according to your will, in Jesus name, in Jesus name, amen, amen, hallelujah, 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 give the Lord a hand clap man, give the Lord a hand clap, he has produced today and we will see the benefits of it in the name of jesus christ of nazareth hallelujah 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 i want to touch a little bit in the time that we have left on this topic that we're doing knowing the enemy how the enemy sneaks in and the adversary sneaks in and causes problems now the word of god in first corinthians chapter 7 and verse 4 says the wife's body does not belong to her alone that means it belonged to her, but it doesn't belong to her alone. You have gone before a pastor or a judge or um, some legal marriage officer, and you have said, I hereby today of my own free will covenant with this man or with this woman to get, no, the male saying it to the woman now, you know, you know how, how a thing go. Okay, right. So, so the woman saying to the man, I covenant to be one with you. My body becomes your body and your body becomes my body. Just like the, the women will say, eh, I don't know about that pastor, but the finance, his finance become my finance and my finance become my finance. <laughs> Bless Jesus. Uh, we're having a good time. Hallelujah. But that's what the Bible says that you, 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 you change and when you covenant to form that union that your body is no longer yours alone hallelujah so he said um the wife's body does not belong to her alone here are these women who want to get married you can't just willy-nilly get up one day and say husband leave me alone you 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 you, you love that thing too much i'm I, i'm not interested I'm, i i don't feel like it you're not saying that you're not feeling well you're not saying that you're, 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 you're upset with him because he left the toilet seat up and you're going to punish him, put him in the doghouse. You're not giving him anything. God says that's wrong. 
You cannot do that. That is of the devil. The devil is trying to bring strife in your marriage. And so he uses certain things to, to, to separate you from your husband in defiance of the word of God. And so I'm here, I'm saying this to those who are not yet married and to those who are married who were not schooled in the reality of this scripture. And you've been making these decisions, but oh, girl, my husband was acting up yesterday and I just put him in the doghouse for three days. Nothing for him. Oh, really? Wow. And you boast off and high five your friend with that. Unmarried women, don't listen to that teaching. You hear me? If you hear any woman of God telling you that, run like a thief. That's devilish advice. I'm, say, I'm telling you, hallelujah. Only one time the Bible allows you legally to keep your body from your wife or from your husband. And it is during that time of the month when you're going through that cycle. Or Amen. Fasting. Or, or fasting. We're coming to the fasting part. Okay. So the, so, so the, it says here, but, uh, but also to her husband. So the God himself is telling you in this passage that your body does not belong to you alone, but also to your husband. How are you going to tell someone who owns something that they can't have it? Hey, mm, oh, from last night, God been licking hot. Hey, woohoo, putting some spoke in some wheat, some spanner in some spokes right now. Next word, next line. In the same way, the husband's body does not belong to him alone, but also to his wife. So when you want that body, you can grab it and own it and claim it and take possession of it as well because it also belongs to you. Amen. Ah, some of the wives are going, so I am always sitting there. So what, what's the difference? <laughs> ah, bless God. But there will be situations and circumstances under which you say it. So when you said, husband, can you take out the garbage, please? Is it body he's going to use to take out the garbage, right? So you said, the part that of your body that I own, <laughs> let that part carry out the garbage for me right now please i know the part that you own watching football but the part that i own must carry out the garbage amen oh god i hope you're enjoying this glory to god okay but see the, this is the tough part now this is the part that so many of us as people of god miss hallelujah miss verse 5 it says do not deprive each other except by mutual do I need to define mutual? It means both of you consult and agree. Do not deprive <coughs> each other except by mutual consent. Hallelujah. And for a time. Let me read that again loudly so that some people can hear. Because I don't think everybody hear. Make sure you move your hand from your ears. Hallelujah. Do not deprive each other, that means whether you be the male or the female, except by mutual consent, agreement, discussion, acceptance, and agreement. That means covenant. And for a time, which means a specific time, you cannot be married and be telling your husband that you're going on a 40 day fast. That is not a time that you go on a fast, except both of you agree to go on that fast. Amen? Hallelujah. All right. So, so that you may devote yourselves to prayer. So you go on a time of fasting to devote yourself to prayer. Now, most persons don't understand. Um, a 40-day fast is not just a fast to devote to prayer. A forty-day fast is a fast that is that's a a, a, um, a nation shifting or a, a ministry shifting fast. A forty-day fast is not to 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 break demonic oppression. A forty-day fast, a, a twenty-one day fast, is what the quote-unquote system says is designed to break demonic oppression. A 40-day fast is that that's what Jesus did, that's what Moses did. And who did they do that for? Jesus did it for the world, Moses did it for the Israelites. Come on, you got to see what's going on in the in the thing. When the when demons are holding up your blessing, you feel that something is not right. My blessing is not coming the way that it's supposed to. Hallelujah. You can go on a 21-day fast. But predominantly, hear me carefully. 
predominantly the fast that most people need to go on is anywhere between three and seven days three days mostly three days three days mostly when you notice that there is a consistent demonic issue that is happening that just keep holding up blocking god says i am giving you this ministry god says i'm giving you a husband i'm giving you a wife god says i'm giving you i release financial breakthrough for you and you're not seeing it coming then a 21 day fast might be necessary because the prince of persia is at play blocking that which is coming to you amen um, somebody on Instagram said, suppose pastor said he must go for the fast, the husband, or the husband. Why you, why you drawing me tongue? You know, you know, Portia Simpson. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know um, former Prime Minister Portia Simpson Miller? Why are you drawing my tongue? <laughs> no, um, the truth though is, um, seriously, guys, if you have covenanted to an authority, and that be your husband or your pastor, and this is a legitimate covenant that you honor, that you are appreciative of, and that you believe is godly if he calls you on that fast you are you you you, you are to go now hear this watch this now women in particular if you agree with your pastor to go on a 21 day fast and your husband said uh-uh guess what guess what Shh. you can't go you can't do it serious you can't do it if God tells you to go on a 21-day fast, if God tells you to go on a 21-day fast and your husband say, I don't agree, I am not going without sex for 21 days. Come on, we're talking big people things. I am not going without 21 days for a fast. You still go on the fast, but the fast doesn't include depriving your husband of sex. Uh-oh. The super spiritual people are going crazy right now. <laughs> no, you don't have to go crazy. God didn't get surprised by your husband's position. God is never surprised by any action of a man. And sometimes God will ask you to go on that 21 day fast. Not because he wants you to be completely sterile and sanitized. But because he wants to check your heart. Will your spirit, your religious spirit, raise up and curse your husband. Vex with your husband. Not deal with your husband because he wants to interfere with your relationship with God. God, he wants to get him. Hey, oh, hey, me did always know same not really safe, you know. Him sinful like, oh, me not nah listen to him. Both him and my authority, and him tell me must go against God. No, sir, me know you're not with him. And you put on jeans and 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 and, and four underpants and all kind of something. And go to your bed, turn your back to him, and you say, like a satoroba kashando de beandada, mende de bekesu, Lord, calm him, Jesus, touch him, Jesus, him need your Jesus, him need to save both. Him want something man no say we are fast. God, you tell me must fast. So minister to him, Jesus. No, Jesus is saying that's a religious spirit. How do I know this? Check scripture, just one in particular. When Jesus and the disciples were moving through on the Sabbath, moving through on the Sabbath, the men were hungry. They were walking and they were hungry and they started to pick corn to eat. And the Pharisees, the ones with the religious spirit, come and say, How dare you? How you could have picked things to eat on the Sabbath day? And Jesus take it to them without warning. How could you want these people to starve on the Sabbath day? Don't when you don't you move your animals and give them water on the Sabbath day? If your donkey falls into a hole on the Sabbath, would you not <laughs> take him out? So, 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 so sometimes God will want to show us something, but he has to put us in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a tight situation, in a squeeze to show us that we have more of a religious spirit than a spirit for religion. You should never have a religious spirit. You should have a spirit for religion. Amen? I hope you understand the difference. The spirit for religion means that your spirit leads you religiously all the time. Mm -hmm. Not religion leads you. Because religion has rules and regulations, but the spirit is fluid. The spirit is like a river. It goes wherever it needs to, to accomplish its purpose. Oh, come on, somebody. You should write that down. The spirit of God is fluid. He goes wherever he needs to and does whatever he needs to, to accomplish 
purpose. And so if God wants to accomplish the purpose of uprooting rebellion, pride, fear, or religious spirit out of us, he will ask us to do something that make it seem as if this is the situation and you're booking against your authority. But what we don't remember is that God already knew that this situation would come. And if that's what he wanted, then he would have put a plan in place. You think God is afraid to visit your husband in the night before the fast start and say, son, like he did Joseph. Come on, it's in scripture. He visited Joseph when Joseph made a decision, he honey. Joseph make a decision and say, oh, I'm not going to out her. I'm not going to let them stone her because she's a good up, good up girl. And I don't know how she get this baby, but I never see. I don't know if it's a man she will sleep with, but I'm but, but, but going to put her aside calmly. And Jesus visit him and say, brother, 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 whoa. Yes, send an angel and say, brother, brother, whoa, cease and settle. No rush to judgment here. But because Joseph was not doing this from a religious spirit, but from a spirit that desired religion, he could hear what the angel was saying and get it in his spirit and obey. Some of us, when it is a religious spirit, even when an angel come, tap us on our shoulder and say, Sister, guess what? You can still have sex with your husband, but fast from food and TV and, 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 and social media and all these other things. God will still accept that as a sacrifice. And you say, no, oh, me not business. Him too wanty wanty. He must learn for sacrifice too. And you're help, 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 help. And the angel is saying, all right, if you want to be a dog, go ahead and be a dog. Bark all you want. But you would have wasted that time. It would have been a time of sacrifice for nothing. 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 Please hear my heart. And so when you get a, 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 a unction to go on a fast, if you feel that something is happening, and most times when your husband or your partner, be it the wife or the husband, does not agree with the fast, it's a fast that you were going to do that was out of flesh. It's a flesh fast. When it's a spirit fast, the spirit of God speaks to your partner. I'm telling you, they won't have any issue. They'll just fit right in. All right, babes, you never talk to me about the fast, but I sense in my spirit that it's all right, so go right ahead. But you still must follow the protocol that is laid out in word. Babes, uh, I, uh, I sense that God wants me to go on a fast concerning X, Y, Z, and so I'm asking um, permission to go on a fast. Permission? Oh, I must ask you permission and you're not God. God tell me I must go on a fast. I sense it in my spirit. So I'm not asking you. I'm telling you that God put me on a fast. And you must line up. That's devil as well. That's the device of the enemy. Because when you talk to a man like that, women, let me tell you, Jesus, hear me carefully. When you talk to a man like that, even though you think that you're coming from the place of defending what God has said to you, what you do is make him back come up and he becomes a bigger bulldog than you. He says, oh yes? Oh, so is you run this place? And he be begins to fight against what you are doing. And if there is discord in where there is supposed to be a cord or one accord, then you are fasting in vain again. So many times we'll fast in vain. We must talk it through. Come to a place of agreement. Come to a place of understanding. So that God's peace can reign. God's wisdom can reign. And so the Bible says, do not deprive each other except by mutual consent and for a time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Um, and for a time so that you can devote yourselves to prayer. Somebody is asking, what if the husband is unsaved? If the husband is unsaved, guess what? The truth is, you married him. You have a covenant with him. It's the same thing we were discussing last night in Bible study. We we're talking about when, when, um, how do you like if you're in a group meeting and some some persons you have six people in the group, four people pulling their weight, spending time in the meetings, putting in the work, doing the research, sending in their content, everybody assessing and merging, and two people not doing any work at all, whether for good reasons or not. Whether they just had a baby and the baby keeping them up all night and them can't get to do it regardless of the good reason. They're not doing, pulling their weight. You don't just go report them to the teacher or make sure that they don't get a grade. 
Love, love says, I will give to them even though they don't deserve it because God has given to me many times when I didn't deserve it. He alone deserves it. Amen? And so it's the same thing. If you have put an unsaved man above your life, Sometimes, get Sometimes they after. get saved after. Yes, I was coming to that. I was coming to that. But many Christians go out and marry unsaved men and think that they can get them saved. That's one element. Some people were married before, um, and 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 they they they, and then they get saved. One of the, one of the partner gets saved. Worse if it's the woman that gets saved than the man that is still unsaved, because the man who is the head of the family wants to go and do things that are unsaved, and you are now not in a position to do those things. Let me tell you, if you have good leadership and good counsel and good agreement in prayer, you must have a conversation with your leader, your, your spiritual leader, and your spiritual leader will come in agreement with you to pray. One, for the salvation of that man. But two, for the peace of God to reign in your house that you can submit to a not yet saved man regardless of what he wants you to do. So you have a conversation that, 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 that caters to that man's um, authority. So if you want to go on a fast, hear this now, this is what you do. You go to your husband and you say, Babes, um, you, you know that they're taking this Christian thing seriously, right? And he said, yeah, man, we know that, man. Um, okay, so I'm required to go on a fast. And listen, if you have an unsaved husband, 21 and 40 day fast, except when he agrees, especially 40 day fast. 21 day fast, you have to ask him nicely. You have to make him know, babes, all right, I'm going on a 21 day fast, you know, can you go 21 days without um, that thing there and still be faithful to me? <laughs> No, it sounds like a joke, but you have to negotiate. And if he says no, then go back to revert to what I said. You can you can fast from everything else, but not that. Mm -hmm. Come on, guys. God has given you an out. God is not going to take away the blessing that he was going to give you because your husband did not agree to not have sex during the 21 days. He's not gonna, that's not the kind of God we serve. He's not like that. He's not vindictive. He's not a man. Come on. And so whatever your husband gives you as, as leverage, he can't force you. He can't say you must eat. But he can say you cannot deprive me of the body that I am part owner of. And he has that right. And God knows he has that right. And so if the unsaved man says, all right, you can do everything else. You can pray. You can set up your altar. You can do all kind of things. But you have to give him a sex when I want it. Then you have to do that. And God will sanctify you and keep you same way. Because he's not surprised by the fact that you are now wed to an unsaved man. But I'm saying to you, you need to go to your spiritual leader and have a conversation. I am now saved and my husband is unsaved. So there is agreement in prayer for his soul. And there is an agreement for peace and wisdom. Come on. And holiness and righteousness according to the will and purpose, character and nature of Jesus Christ by the Holy Spirit to function in and through you in your house. So your spiritual leader will pray and ask God for you to be, be, be at peace in every situation. So when your husband gets all upset and carrying on by the use of the devil while you're on fasting, you say, babes, I'm so sorry. I don't know what I did while you're quarreling, but I'm, I'm so sorry. May the peace of God be with you. I'm sorry, honey. What you want me to fix, babes? What you want me to fix? You know that what he's quarreling about is of the devil. It's foolishness. But because you know the devil's devices, because you know that the adversary is going to come at you while you're fasting, you just humble yourself and say, yes, babes. Okay, babes. You dinner, you dinner five minutes late, babes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't tell him that, oh, so he was not home too. You couldn't start the food. I had to go to work to just like you. No, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't let the enemy dig in and destroy what God has called you to do. Amen. Make sense to you? Amen. Bless God. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for your revelation. We thank you for information. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, 
that you have sought to walk with us and talk with us and teach us according to your will and purpose and so this morning oh god we just glorify you on this day we glorify you for all that you have done and all that you have continued to reveal to us about what you have done may we be strong and mighty through you to the pulling down of every stronghold that the enemy has set up in our minds from we were children teaching us through our parents and our grandparents and now through our own living. May all of those things like Paul in the wilderness be torn off of us and what you desire for us to walk in and talk be our portion. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen and amen, amen. and amen. amen. Hallelujah. Grab your communion quickly. Let's do our communion quickly in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Grab your communion. Father, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you for this time of honoring your sacrifice at Calvary, covenanting again to eat of your body and drink of your blood. We ask that you will sanctify and consecrate these emblems even now. And we also ask, O oh God Almighty, because we desire to eat of your body and drink of your blood worthily, that you search our thoughts, our words, and our actions. See if there be any misprint or miscommunication or misaction that the enemy would have stimulated or instigated. We repent and renounce it now and ask your forgiveness and your cleansing. In Jesus' name, amen. And so as the Lord Jesus Christ took the bread, he blessed it and broke it. He gave it to the disciples and he said, Eat, this is my body broken for you. As often as you eat of it, you do it in remembrance of me. Eat ye all of it in faith. In Jesus' name. Mm. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Likewise, he took the cup. He blessed it and took a sup when he said, Drink, this is my blood, the blood of the new covenant. As often as you drink of it, you do it in remembrance of me. As you eat my body and drink my blood, says the Lord, you do it in remembrance of my death, burial, and resurrection until I come. Drink you all of it in faith, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Before we go, we want to just celebrate our sister Cheryl, Cheryl G, Cheryl Graham's birthday. Cheryl is a mighty prayer warrior who has you know lift up pastor marsh and i on many occasions and so it is truly an honor for us to celebrate your birthday with you hallelujah it's nice to get to 25 you're a big woman now can do big woman things hallelujah <laughs> bless god hallelujah thank you jesus so let's sing happy birthday to our sister cheryl hallelujah happy birthday happy birthday happy birthday to you dear cheryl happy birthday i make a sing now happy birthday happy birthday happy birthday to you dear cheryl happy birthday hallelujah one more birthday song hallelujah special woman of god also is having her birthday today hallelujah and that sister k white my oh, god is yes today is k white's birthday sister k she don't play every day she look in the devil's face and say obey way hallelujah bless god and so let's sing happy birthday to sister k happy birthday happy birthday happy birthday, happy birthday to you sister k happy birthday i make a sing now happy birthday Happy birthday, happy birthday to Tua Uno, happy birthday, hallelujah. Father, we just pray your blessings and your favor upon Sister Cheryl and Sister Kay in the name of Jesus Christ. Bless them richly in this season. Bless them with health and strength. Yes. Protect them from every plan, scheme, and trap of the enemy. Every virus, every generational curse of sickness and disease. Lord, may no curse come nigh their dwelling in the name of jesus bless their families oh god almighty cover them oh god cover their children and even their children's children lord as a birthday present let your your presence hallelujah be a present to them in this season in the name of jesus christ visit by divine visitation oh god almighty touch speak to anoint appoint and send 
these two women of God to go be and do for your good pleasure. Lord, they, they do not seek after material things, but they seek after your presence. They seek after your love, power, and self-control to be manifested in their lives. And so we come in agreement as a family with their desire, and we ask you to take them higher and pour out upon them all that they need for life and godliness. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And amen. Hallelujah. Be blessed. Be blessed. Be blessed. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you his peace. In the name of Jesus Christ. Go forth, family, and have an amazing day. God's way. For our God has already shaken everything that is evil out of your day his way in jesus name remember jesus love you and we love the world i want to god bless you hallelujah oh cheryl your anniversary and your birthday at the same time wow hallelujah i wonder which one of the gifts your husband chose to sacrifice i give you hallelujah happy anniversary happy anniversary my dear to the grahams hallelujah Blessings, blessings. We pray God's favor, God's peace, long life, prosperity, and good success on your marriage for now and for the future. In the name of Jesus, may the works of your hand and the hand of your husband produce uncommon increase for your generations to come. In Jesus' name. Have a happy anniversary, girl. Celebrate to the fullest. Double portion. In Jesus' name. Bye, guys. Have a great one. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bye.